Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy and excited to share this video. Stationary items, stationary supplies makes me so happy and excited. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. And I am like really forward here because my mic, I do not have my microphone, so I don't know how my voice is gonna be. If you guys are gonna be able to hear my voice because I tend to talk very low. Um, so the microphone really helps a lot, but I will try my best to speak loud and to come close to you guys, but hopefully not be too close to you guys. But yeah, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys Bible stationery supplies that I use, that I have loved, that I don't use, and things that have worked and don't work for me. So if you are into stationery then stick around give this video a like subscribe if you are new around here and i will be sharing more of these videos um throughout the time that i discover more items because i cannot stop i how can you stop like there's always new things coming up and there's always cute little things everywhere it's just very hard for me not to buy them i will show them real brief with you guys so you guys can know which ones i'm going to be talking about and then i'll share you i'll show you guys how it looks on the bible i'm going to start with the most common one that i feel like every bible person probably has already used and these are the mile liner highlighters they're bright but not too bright they're not fluorescent at all like highlighter colors are they're bright like you can see them they do shadow through i have my bible that i use i have two bibles and both of these bibles are very thin pages so everything will be seen when you flip the page some of the things that i've used actually you cannot see whatsoever so i feel like if those things cannot be seen those uh, supplies cannot be seen whatsoever then they're probably good for like all types of bibles but this is a new one that i have been using maybe for like almost a month and these pens this is why i want to share this because i had not used these pens. i had used their highlighters because i had the pastel um set and the pastel said they're very lighter they're way lighter than these these tend to be darker so you can these are more noticeable but these pens are very very good you cannot see them and i'll show you guys um how that looks the only downside on those pens is that it does smear so if you want to highlight over it you have to wait a while for it to dry completely and this is a vicky vicky something vicky beauty vicky and it's an acid-free, permanent, waterproof, non-toxic uh, marker. And these two, you kind of, the yellow definitely you cannot see. So I will have to uh, um, outline it with black. But these, you definitely will not see them bleed through whatsoever. So folks, the marker tip is kind of thick. So whenever I tend to write with a very heavy hand, so... Um, my letters will be kind of thick and it's very very close to yours. So it's kind of hard to distinguish what you're writing. Um, but if you write very faint and like very nice, I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem with them. But like I said, these do not bleed through whatsoever. This is my favorite pen. This is an Energel liquid gel and this is a 0 0.5 tip. Does not bleed whatsoever. It just shadows very lightly, but usually it doesn't. This one is another Energel, and this is a 0.7 point, so this one will be a little bit darker and thicker if I want to write something that is more noticeable. And then this is another one that is known around the Bible journaling community is like the Microns. Any Micron will be good for your Bible. More than likely, it will not bleed through. Um, depending on the thing of your pages, you will see it shadow through but it will not bleed through unless you really press hard or you like color or something but these are just different uh, points different sizes another set of colorful pens that i have been using maybe for like also like around a month i kind of got some of these things around the same time this is a friction fix friction fine liner Ooh, fine liner markers i thought they were pens i didn't know but when i started writing i noticed that they weren't pens and they're markers they're very thin and they're erasable so if you are afraid of messing up your bible these are great they're, you have different colors and this is a small pack they sell like a bigger pack that has like way more colors but this is a small pack 
and um, you can erase them with this uh, kind of gummy eraser, eraser by just erasing it. You just have to be very gentle with your pages because um, if you have thin pages, you have to be very careful of it so that you don't tear it. Or Frixen, I don't know how to say it, Frixen. I have this set of Frixen highlighters also, and these also are erasable. This is the gooey part or the gummy um, silicone. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like silicone or what it is, but it will erase your highlighting and it would also erase your pants because it's made out of the same thing it's the same brand but yeah but these are pastel colors so these will not shadow through very very a few times does it shadow through if i'm pressing really hard but most of the time it does not um and i'll show you guys how that looks there's only a downside to these that it kind of leaves like a cast over your print so it can be annoying sometimes but you know it works as far as if you don't like um anything to show through or to black um if you don't like stuff to bleed through your bible pages because that's one thing i do not like because it's very distracting for me to read my own notes or read the text itself if something is shadowing through um it's very distracting best bet for highlighters is gel highlighters and i have tried various gel highlighters i have like a bunch of them <laughs> when I first discovered when I first I think this were the first things that I started using and I just went crazy because I the first set that I bought was UV I believe and I think it was very limited in colors it was only like four colors which was yellow green blue and uh, pink and then I found pen and gear had like purple and like a different other color of like some other color so I have used like several brands and I'll tell you which ones I love and which ones I do not like. And I think I only have three here with me. So Pen and Gear, I'm trying to see, but like the, I think it's this one. The name I already fade off because I use the blue a lot. This one, okay. So the Pen and Gear comes with three, six colors. I'm missing the top there. And these I really like. They're super bright. They do not shadow or bleed through whatsoever at all. Um, and it just gives you a variety of colors. I really like these and probably the ones that I use the most They're super cheap also. I think they're like three dollars three something for all of those. Then I have a UB collection I don't know what happened to my UB collection, but I do not have any of them here <laughs> They must be in my room then. The UB collection is also the orange green pink and yellow and these are also great and I think they're like either three to five dollars for like four and they they're very similar to the pen and gear like probably exactly the same now another set that I have bought but I do not like the daily grace company highlighters I thought that I had gotten a defected case and then I messaged the company and they actually sent me another case and it's exactly the same thing, so um, I think that's the way they come. So these, I had got them because they were like kind of pastel colors. They came in different tones, like lighter tones. Like I didn't have like this color. It's like a different type of orange. It's kind of like a pink, actually. These I do not like. Like I don't know if you can see from right there, but they have a lot of uh, flakes. I don't know why they get that. They're kind of very hard. Like you just every time I want to use them, I have to dust off all this crystal residue and i don't know why it builds that like look at that one that one's new and have not used that one and how it builds so much thing like you have to clean it off in order to use it so and the colors are very faint you can barely see them you have to like go over it a couple of times this one oxidizes i really like the color of this one when highlighting but then it turns into like an orange color so it doesn't stay yellow I don't know why but yeah so these i do not like they're like five bucks for six colors definitely cheap to try them out but um it's not one that i would recommend because i have two cases and the both cases some of them get stuck let's see this one this one won't even turn there you go but it's so hard to turn some of them and i think it's because of that crystallizing dust that it creates i don't know 
what is that but i have these because whenever like um there's just an easy case to carry around or whatever and i mean since i have them might as well use them so this is another set of highlighters and this is the big bright liner highlighters these are the most like common ones out there they come in various colors i tend to use the purple the blue and the pink when i want to highlight something and for it to really stand out these are the brighter colors that i'm going to find from all the ones that i have these are going to be the brightest colors so i like to use these these will not bleed through unless you press hard but they will shadow through but it's very kind of faint too it's kind of very similar to some these are the ones that will shadow through the most than all the ones that i've shared with you guys but they still don't bleed through so i think it's really great when i first started using them they did bleed through but i think it was because i was pressing too hard like after using my bible a lot like i tend to be more conscious about it and be lighter with my hand when i'm highlighting and writing things down because so that it doesn't go through too much onto the next page or even whenever you're writing like indentation of write of letters so like i try not to do that sharpie has the same gel but sharpie only i've only seen sharpie has the blue green and yellow i think um like three colors i do not like them because they these were actually given uh, my sister had them so i took them from her <laughs> she gave them to me but i do not like this because the tip is white and like long so when you're highlighting you have to be careful otherwise it's going to highlight things that you don't want to be highlighting you want to highlight like one sentence or one verse it might go over to like the top one and the bottom so you have to like go it in the length in the longer way i don't know but so i do not use these um for my bible when i first started writing in my bible i used this set of pens which were the advanced ink pens but while they work they were working for me like for the first three months that i was using my bible that i was reading my bible these are the ones that i use and i really like them because they're ballpoint pens I, after months when i would go through the pages i would notice that some of the colors would start to spread and like if they were like bleeding through the the surface of the page and then like we're actually transferring to the back side of the page which is something that i had never seen happen so i stopped using those um, that was like maybe a case of like 20 something or 12 pens a lot of pens for like five bucks at walmart but um they're not good for bibles and i will show you guys what i mean by that i have parko pens but these do not these are not good for your bible these will they're gel pens and they definitely bleed through um so no good to that and they tend to skip out on the writing i have another set of pens here that I had seen some people rave about uh, the big Gelosity pens, the 0.7, saying that they work really good on their Bibles. Like I said, my Bible has really thin pages, so they don't bleed through unless I press hard, but you can definitely see these more. So I don't use them on my Bible. They have a lot of ink, actually. And if you like gel pens that have a lot of ink, these are great. Notice that they kind of smear a little bit. I have to wait for them to dry. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like this. Let me know what are your favorite supplies to use on your Bible that do not bleed through because that's one thing that I do not like. I'll share that in the comments down below with us, with all of us here who read the comments. And give this video a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I hope to see you on the next video. Hasta luego. Adios. Thank you.